That's Rai's making its closest approach to the island of Reunion and Mauritius right about now, maintaining Category 4 strength with wind speeds of 140 miles per hour, that's 225 kilometers per hour, a central pressure of 935 millibars, and it is moving to the west at 7 miles an hour or 11 kilometers an hour, remaining a stage 7 on the CDPS scale. Breaking down that stage 7, we have a wind speed of just over major, storm size of major, rainfall potential just under major, and the overall threat to land remains just over major. Now a stage 7 still means that catastrophic damage is possible for the residents of Anval Ambalavontaka, excuse me, for Madagascar for around Saturday. The wind fields of this system remain at 120 nautical miles to the northeast, 110 to the southeast, 100 to the southwest and 80 to the northwest. There is currently a class 4 warning in effect for Mauritius, a red cyclone warning in effect for Reunion and a green cyclone watch in effect for Madagascar. This system remains 108 miles away from Mauritius, 149 from Reunion, 462 from Toa Messina on the coast of Madagascar and Balavontaka which is ground zero for CDPS at the current moment 517 and Antananarivo the capital at 581 that's 173 kilometers away from Mauritius 240 from Reunion 744 from Toa Messina 832 from Ambalavontaka and 935 from Antananarivo. The h wolf wind swaths continue to take this up to category four landfall, possibly category three at landfall before crossing over Madagascar and entering the Mozambique channel. The rain swath continues to take this up to around 24 inches of rain uh, in isolated parts of Madagascar before entering the Mozambique channel once again. Maximum sustained winds, we are agreeing with Meteo France with its estimate of 140 miles an hour. The JTWC and SATCON going slightly higher at 145 and 150 miles an hour respectively. Here's our latest cone made by our very own Ruby. Now, as you can see, it's currently a category four, but it is forecast to maintain to category three strength before strengthening again to category four, possibly making a landfall at that strength. We don't know yet before crossing over the Mozambique channel uh, as a tropical storm. The sea surface temperatures still remain relatively favorable for this system right up until landfall and possibly even better in the Mozambique channel. Uh, the multimodal diagnostic comparisons really take this storm up to quite, quite, uh, quite high uh, DSHP going all out um, as deep layer shear remains relatively low for the system which is favourable for it. Sea surface temperatures also remain relatively co uh, condu conducive for this system as well as mid-level relative humidity. Now just, just look at this absolute monster making its closest approach to the islands of Reunion and Mauritius right about now with a forecast for landfall in Madagascar relatively soon.